In last week's union budget, the government had announced support for research initiatives in many sundry sectors, including pharmaceuticals. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, in her budget speech, said that the government wants to unlock newer opportunities for the sector, and research and development will drive this initiative. The finance minister's statement is not an isolated one; it follows a string of similar developments. Last October. the department of pharmaceuticals released a draft policy aimed at catalyzing research and development and innovation in the pharma medtech sector in india prime minister narendra modi also urged the industry to become self reliant in producing apis for india's pharmaceutical industry r&d could be a stepping stone to achieving greater and newer things but unlike producing generics or branded formulation Research is a totally different ball game. It is capital intensive and there is unlimited risk. So why innovate at all? Well, innovations can help cater to the needs of the market. Biopharmaceuticals is driving growth for global pharma with the emergence of biologics and biosimilars. India's draft policy pegs the global biosimilar opportunity at 70 billion dollars by 2027. till october 2020 about 100 biosimilars were approved in india with over 40 others under clinical development innovation can also help cater to india's demands there are over 750 domestic medical device manufacturers in india with an average investment of 2.3 to 2.7 million dollars and a turnover of 6.2 to 6.9 million dollars the sector is heterogeneous meaning it consists of a large number of multinationals and smes and the sector is a growing one but it faces a major challenge in the form of cheap imports as 90% of india's needs are met using imports from the us europe and china strengthening regulatory framework and ecosystem can aid innovation and research in india smoothen industry academia linkages and create the needed infrastructure The draft policy also advocates for this. It calls for financial support for innovation-focused companies, SMEs and startups, including giving tax exemptions, grant supports and even seed capitals for startups. It says that countries that have created such an ecosystem are reaping the market benefits and the financial rewards of innovation. So research and development in the pharmaceutical sector can not only provide a major leg up to the government's atmanirbhar program but it can also boost the economy and exports